Welcome to another episode of PBR. I'm B. I'm Pizer. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be checking out something special today. Yeah, this was an old comment. One yeah. of the ones, again, we have a very long list, guys. We have a lot of movies out there. We're going yeah. to the archives for this one. A little deep dive, a little, little deep, deep cut. Dive. Yeah, we actually arrived at two movies, flipped a coin between the two. And this is one of them, yeah. um, which is good because the next time we sit down and do this, we're probably going to do the other one. I would think so, yeah. yeah. And who knows when this video is coming out because now we have a backlog. We That's what's really fun. Who knows? This could be December when this comes out or could, this true. could be in August or who knows? This could be yeah, the next yeah. week. We could do the other one and then just do like a Halloween thing I'm saying, too. man, you literally <laughs> never know. It's the thing. We're, we're trying to get these videos stockpiled up so we can keep them coming every single week. That's right. That's what it's yeah. all about. And in case you didn't read the title, this is What Lies Beneath, by the way. Yes. What Lies Beneath. Anybody. I've never heard of it until today. I was telling B before we started this, the only reason I remember this movie and why this comment stood out to me is because the movie theater that I went to as a little kid, they would always have the movie posters upstairs and you had to go down and escalate. It was an underground movie theater. Mm -hmm. It was a cool experience to walk past all the movie posters and then take that long escalator down, which probably wasn't even that long as a kid. Yeah. It looked so steep, you know, <laughs> and I just remember the poster for what lies beneath with like the, with the hand coming out and I'm like nine years old at the time. So I'm like, Ooh, what is that? I want to see this creepy movie. Never got around to it. Never heard about it again. It was next to the American Beauty poster, and I was also like, ooh, who's this hot looking? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you put the roses. The, yeah, That's you put, an iconic put, one. Yeah, you put those two next to each other, and you're kind of, yeah. you know, I guess my childhood was formed at that movie theater that day. But either way, I'm excited. It's coming full circle now. I'm finally checking this movie out. Apparently, Harrison Ford is in it. I don't know how I missed that. Right. Yeah, we literally typed it in Google to kind of figure out where it was streaming. Michelle Pfeiffer came out too. Yeah, uh, haven't seen her in so, a long time either. So, yeah, pretty exciting. down memory lane today. Yeah, I and think. Something about like older horror movies too. And this isn't even that old, I don't think. Uh, but just, it's pre Saw. Yeah. I think Saw really kind of ushered in a new modern horror we see with Blumhouse a mm -hmm. lot, you know? Um, I appreciate Saw for what it did, even though it's not my favorite film franchise. I gotta respect Saw, yeah. you know? But there definitely is, like, a pre-Saw, you know, genre. In That's a way, true. horror kind of shaped itself, and, and we kind of got a... We also got a lot of supernatural and psychological horrors in the 90s. I think right. that was the I theme. enjoy those quite yeah. a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I don't know what this is going to be about, though. The comment just kind of said your past will always come back to haunt you or something. Okay. So I I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's supernatural. It sounds psychological to me. Uh, I don't know what we're in for. I really don't. I just remember that it was a creepy movie poster, and now we found out today that Harrison Ford is in it. So there's definitely going to be some finger pointing. That's, that's true. That's for sure. Do you think Harrison Ford's going to want his family back? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Do you think that this what it's going to be about? Who knows? Yeah, that's his but trope. I'm excited for it. Yeah, it should be fun. Thank you for keep, you know, keep writing in the comments, keep recommending. We can't get too much. If yeah. You've said it 20 times. Keep saying it. We have a lot of movies on our list. We dive back to, I think we got this from Pumpkinhead, which is like one of the, like the first 10 uh, reactions we've ever right. recorded. So, I mean, we go back in the archives, guys. So, uh, but sometimes things get lost in the sauce. So if there's something you said a long time ago that we still haven't done. Say it again. Refresh our memories. Yep. We need to know. Right. Yeah. So. More, you, more you say it, more likely we'll probably check it out that's true <laughs> that's true and yeah um any likes subscriptions that stuff helps us out too guys it really does help us grow so if you can before we start the review please take a quick second just click that like button click subscribe it really does help us grow very fast and uh yeah yep. we appreciate you all for it yep yeah man ready i'm ready let's do it do it on all right i got it this time That was nice. Cool little edit. Uh, yeah, that mm -hmm. was a nice little... Mm -hmm. I fucking hate clawfoot tubs. Oh, yeah? I fucking hate working on clawfoot tubs. <laughs> but it's so trendy, bro. Fuck them. <laughs> I hope they, the legs give out when yeah. the tub cracks. <laughs> oh. I guess that's something people do. Does that work? I don't know. I've never tried that. I don't know. I don't have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have a blow dryer. But oh, that is how that works. 
I've already been jump scared. Yeah. We're like a minute Dude, in. Dude, we're literally less than five minutes in. Are you going to make it? I, see, I, I hope so. Oh, they're vermin. <laughs> vermin. It's close. Carnegie Hall concert. Damn, she's got to be good then. Yeah. I mean, I guess she went to Juilliard. I guess there's some talented people that come out of there. Mm hmm. Cello. Turn it on its side and cello, you've got a bass. <laughs> Would you guys like to see us react to School Rock? <laughs> Insurance claim. 98? Man. That's got her feeling. Yeah, a little PTSD trigger there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, you had a hell of a year too. The move, the new house, the garden, the car, a minor setback. Mm. God, was that a year ago? This week. Oh, the. I guess the picture of the car was pretty recent. It said '98. This movie is from 2000, mm. so I'm assuming film '99 takes place '99, 2000. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, fuck, that looked like a body. It reminds me a lot of Rear Window, Disturbia. Distur yeah, yeah, Disturbia. Disturbia, the modern Rear Window, basically. Yeah. No, oh, shit, he gone. What, Claire? I, th I, th I thought I saw... I... What? I, I, I thought I saw oh, something. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do you mean? You did see something. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still not fully sure where this movie's going. There's obviously, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer's character dealing with a lot of past trauma. She also can't climb things properly. Right. What? What the fuck was that? Was that just like the door is open kind of thing? Or that looked like some kind of a... Uh... It looks like somebody pulled it open. Mm-hmm. Oh. Have you seen that? I thought I did. That's a fucking person. It's a lady in a lake. Oh my god. That's creepy. Oh, that is and so creepy. She's gone. gone. Yep. <laughs> Poop is just running. What a twist. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, I am moving. I'd move. Fuck this. Hmm. Absolutely not, dude. But right now we're using halothane. Halothane? Oh, yeah. No, she's like, I am not. Yeah, yeah. good. I like her. She got it the fuck yeah. out. Like, no, I'm not staying here. When do you see this place? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, well, but you'll see it. It's haunted. No. Is it really? Claire's hearing things. <laughs> Damn, she's like, way to put me on the spot, like, asshole. The fuck, dude. I, um, I don't know. I heard uh, voices whispering. A picture fell. No, you know, I completely believe in all that. <laughs> it's my old man. He's pissed about us sticking around with the house. Yeah, no, she doesn't think that's mm -mm. fun. Ow! Hmm. Mm. She just keeps, like, cutting herself a little right, bit. Right, yeah. There. You know? The bushes, the fence, and... Now stepping on glass. Yeah. 
What does she see? Well, so yeah, it just looks like a... Oh, smoke? Somebody hotboxed me mm -hmm. in a minute. What is that steam? It's fucking creepy. This is too quiet. I know. This whole movie's been really quiet. Yeah. That's like filled that is right up to the top. Perfectly to the top. Some psycho shit right mm -hmm. there. Huh. I guess it's paranormal? I, I guess. I guess that's what we're going for here. So what do you think I should do? Try to contact her. Communicate with her somehow. Find out what she wants. Uh. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Go out and buy a Ouija board? Uh-huh. <laughs> If the shit starts moving on its own, it would freak me out, though. You know? Right. Oh. oh. Mom, did you see that? Yeah. Is it the puppy dog? I hope so. Is it Pooper? Come on, Pooper. Yep. Pooper. <laughs> oh. But what about the other door? Like, who opened that yeah. other door? Are we just going to skip over that little, I little thing? I guess so. Maybe the thing like the dog, like, pushed it open yeah. and went around to the side. Because, you know, a bathroom sometimes will have, like, two entrances. Yeah. Oh. And then, you know, Harrison Ford, but he's in New Haven right now, right? So... Yeah. Oh, I just saw that computer turn yep. on. A lot of long takes. A lot of long takes, a lot of good movement. Yeah. Right? It's like um, they're doing a very good job, like, getting rid of a lot of the scene. Yeah. Like, she bends over and stuff like that. Yeah, they've been yeah, doing yeah. that a lot. It's yeah. like when they turn, we're like, oh, shit. And then they come back, mm -hmm. right? And we're like, oh, shit, what changed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on? What do we see in the background? Very subtle, but it's good stuff. Call the dog. Yeah. Pooper? <laughs> I mean, Cooper's... Actually, I'm about to say, yeah, yeah. Cooper so far has been pretty useless. Yeah, pretty unhelpful. I think Pooper's just there to be cute. Bro. Don't go in there. Absolutely not. This is why white people... <laughs> keep the horror business in game and they just can't stop going in yeah uh just do you know just you don't you don't have to do the water thing again huh oh there she oh. is <gasps> oh that was very nicely done huh Oh, they, oh they, she, there she was. I get a feeling maybe she's not, like, evil, though. Like, maybe she's legitimately trying to contact this girl, you know? Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh you... You, you know. know. Oh, Mary something, uh, whatever. Mary E. Fuhrer, whatever their names are, yeah. 
Norma yes. was telling me the house is finally finished. Almost. Wonderful. It's good to see you doing so well. <laughs> About that. Yeah. I don't think I've seen you since Norman's reception here last year. You were worried? You, you got so upset. Oh, at the party. You remember? Yeah, I remember the party, but I... Mm. God. I had completely forgotten. I... I broke your crystal. Oh, my dear. A cheap wine glass from the caterers. But you went completely pale. You couldn't get your breath. It was as if you had seen a ghost. <laughs> About that, lady. About that. Mm. It's definitely got some repressed memory. That's thing what happening. I'm saying. Like I'm having a hard time right now deciding is this stuff actually happening, or is it in her head? All right. So far, everything like this has happened when the husband's not around for the most part, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like she could be, she could have set it too close to the edge and not realized it. M. M. E. Uh, M. E. Main? F. Or something? <laughs> Frank. Okay. M. E. F. Yeah. Got the old loading. My God. Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Waiting 20 minutes to see a porn picture back yeah. in the day. Yeah. You're disappointed, like, oh, this is what I I waited twenty minutes for this, right? Mm, what are we gonna see? What? Where? We didn't see the necklace or anything, right? That was weird. Yeah. This is the girl that disappeared last year. Did you know her? No. Ooh, I don't know. Reading. They wanted to put her in a special school for the gifted when she was young. Kitty cat. Orange cat. You want to see her room? Huh? Oh, did she like take some of that little? Uh, hair oh, you think it took her hair or something? Yeah. What if it's just like a hair extension? <laughs> it's just not her hair. <laughs> so fucking like, huh? sweatshop worker gets like summoned. Oh wait, has what? her eyes always been that blue? I wonder if that was a. Yep, she did. She took her hair extension. She took the whole thing. Yeah, she does have fucking blue. I don't know. She's like reminding me of Maleficent right now, yeah. though. Oh, see, yeah, they did it okay. on purpose. Yeah, just so we can notice that. <laughs> yeah, because her eyes were not that blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's uh. Dog. There is no Claire. Yeah. Only Zool. Because <laughs> the fridge is open. <laughs> She's gonna be right there. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Spencer. Dr. Spencer. He's like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, this is so creepy. I love it. I think homegirl's like taking over her body. Yeah. She's definitely got a little possessed vibe uh -huh, going on. Uh, -huh. uh a ghost of another person. That's what's getting into her. It's like if the ghost knows him. Yeah. Right? Think he was having an affair? Maybe. Think he was having an affair yeah. with this girl? 
what if he killed that girl, bro? And that's the real mystery here. Oh, is that the wife? Is that the real? Yeah, that is her. It's like, I want my body back. I think she's starting to suspect something. Your wife. <gasps> Did you see that? The green eyes, yeah. yeah and like her face changed a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, is she back? What the hell are you doing? I know. Oh, oh, oh I oh. get it now. I remember now. What? She found out. Uh huh. Before the accident. Uh huh. She got into an accident. Amnesia. And amnesia. Yeah. And homie's been playing it yeah. off like nothing happened. I want you to answer one question. Mm, you seem to do it truthfully. Did you have anything to do with her disappearance? Yes. What? That's not what I expected no. at all. When I tried to break it off, she became unstable. Mm. She came out here to the house. She threatened to kill herself. Or you. Uh-oh. I didn't think she'd go through with any of it. But then she... She disappeared. So it's like a self-loathing yeah. thing. Down. I didn't sleep last night and I need to lie down. He's taking the whole being cheated on thing very well. Yeah. Because she just remembered She just kind of like found out again. Right, again. Yeah. Exactly. Let's keep it again. So. Yeah. And he more or less just like played it off. Yeah. There's more to this for sure. Yeah. But also she as an actress do, doing an incredible job. She is. Yeah. From like where she was at the beginning until now like her looks and the way she's acting. Is it Claire? Well, I don't see the green eyes, so I'm assuming it is Claire. Mm, no, nope, it's no, not Claire. It's, it's not, not Claire. Claire. Yeah, she about to jump in. Face first, Frodo Baggins, yep. Oh, it's like she's being kind of dragged in there or something. Yeah. All right, decent. What is that? No way. What was that? It looked like a book. Uh, well, there fire. You there you go. Again, I don't... That's gotta be a hair extension. <laughs> I don't think that's hair. Yeah. I believe you. Mmm. Okay. Okay, Norman. Norman's coming around to it. Hmm. <laughs> this cameraman. Huh? Yeah, what's that about? Oh, I what's forgot that about, about yeah. the key. The skeleton key. Damn, this was a long break between yeah, when they first introduced I, the key till now. I totally forgot about that key. Oh my god. Oh, that was what? It's, yep. Yeah. 
She has to go in the water. Yep. She has to go in the water to get the well, fucking box. Well, do you box. think that that was actually in the water, or was she seeing it? I think that was in the box. I think it was actually, in the water. okay. Yeah. I'm still not fully convinced this isn't all in her head, too. Like, I... It's... They're doing such a good I, job, but... I, I don't know, yeah. I got a feeling we got, like, a twist coming up. Oh, see, now, is, yeah. he, is he awake this whole time? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Because they're doing such a good job with the, like, whole trauma and the accident, the kind of amnesia thing, you know? Right. Also, I'll tell you right now, I'm a very, very strong swimmer. I would never, ever, ever get into water like that at night. At nighttime? Ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, she got it, bro. Yeah. This man holds records, I hear. Used to. <laughs> Also, the balls to bring it back in the house. I, right, I was about it. to say, I would have just opened it on the fucking pier. You got a flashlight. You got a flashlight. Right. Mm -hmm. Her necklace. Okay. Norman! doesn't really prove anything right i mean he right. could have like had a box of her stuff and just like thrown it out in the water it just seems too easy and obvious to be him yeah. you know she was already dead she oh when i got there what house to destroy me uh. do you think that i'm stupid she left that for you in the garden with a letter i burned the letter and i threw the box in the lake okay well that's kind of right tell me what should i have done should i sacrifice everything our marriage. You probably shouldn't have disposed of a body if I yeah. Especially if she had like actually killed herself. Right. <clears throat> well, you're gonna lose your wife, but right. I mean you kinda already did that when you cheated on her, so life right. can go on. It's not too late. No, no, no. I I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> Hit him in the head with the phone. I just hit dial uh -oh. on the thing. Uh-oh. This is Dr. Norman Spencer. I have some information about a missing person. Prison. I'm going to go get dressed. Might as well be arrested in some nice clothes. Yeah. Uh... Uh, this is too quiet and yeah. weird. And she's like wearing the necklace. I no, I. Is she gonna check to see if he actually called? Yeah. Oh, uh, did he kill himself? What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. Shit. I knew we weren't done yet, but still. Wait, what? Why are her legs working? Yeah, what the hell? It's the fucking oh, thing the they thing. were showing earlier where it like immobilizes uh, people. I knew it was foreshadowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that's what that little bo bottle scene is. Hmm. So this is where season three of you got it from. I haven't seen that show. You probably hate it. Yeah. It's all right. I like it. It's trash <laughs> TV and I love it. Hold her underwater. Oh, jeez. Watch your life slip away. Classic villain mistake, man. Just talking out your story. Yeah. But she gave me no choice. Also, have we ever seen Harrison Ford in a role like this before? No, no. Wow, that's a cool camera shot. Right, under. it's in the ground now. To that's crazy. Uh, 
I had to say my favorite thing about this movie is how it was shot. Yeah. Great camera work. Lots and lots of good camera movement. Damn, in the tub, huh? Yeah, he's in a shocker to death. Or drowner. Yeah. Oh, Enough. Did he just Fuck. get million dollar baby? He did. He, he just fucking dude. That's amazing. Ten out of ten. Favorite movie of wow. all time. Love it. Wow. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Damn. Uh. <laughs> yeah. No. Head drama did it. Okay, there's like the part oh, of here like, we go. There's just oh, I'm sorry. There's the plumber part of me watching this. Like there's there's an overflow. Overflow, Jay. There's yeah. just an overflow. Like it wouldn't fill up. You got it. Spray through your nose. Oh, that's not good. You try to turn it off? Yeah, I guess. Oh. Oh, wow, this oh, is creepy. Can't even see. Oh. Oh, my God, is that going to be enough? But she well, says the drain. Yeah. Yes, breathe through your toes. <laughs> breathe through your toes. Oh, here we go. She got it. She got Good it. Good for her. Oh, that was kind of uncomfortable there yeah. for a second, you know? Also, again, really good sound design yeah. right there. The way that it kind of started echoing and everything like that. Oh, okay, there you go. What the fudge cakes? Where is he? Oh, he got out. No way. But, uh, you know what? I kind of prefer that he did because I was also like, you know. Yeah. He fell. He is, I mean, come on. You got a million dollar baby. Like, come on. <laughs> God, this just keeps going, huh? Where is this going to go now? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's a really good shot. Yeah, look <laughs> at that. Very scream like. They do a really good job with the quiet moments. Like I said, dude, this movie's been so quiet. Oh, the suspense. The suspense. This movie is a suspense movie yeah. in every <laughs> definition of the word. Uh, I mean, they're making you earn everything here. Yeah. Got the epic survival scene and mm -hmm. now this. Like, this, yeah, this just keeps going. <laughs> oh. I guess maybe I mean blood loss. He was bleeding a lot. Yeah. It's possible. Oh fuck! We're gonna see his eyes like open. Right. Oh, he's still breathing. He called the fucking cops. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Also, wasn't that his cell phone right there? Like, take the cell Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. Good shot. Good shot. Oh. Huh. That was really... This is really nice. Yeah, I like, I like that. That was a really cool shot, too. He's on the back of the boat. <gasps> Keep driving, you gloon. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh. Ugh. Keeps him up in the water. Yeah. Oh. Not a good way to go. Gotta squeeze out. Oh, is this poetic? He's gonna drown in the car the same way that he left that other girl? Yeah. Comes full oh circle. Oh my god. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, is he about to just like go out together or something? I guess that's what he's hoping for. Oh. Uh, we don't like. Oh shit! She got him. Yeah, she got him. Uh, I was gonna say yeah, no, yeah. she would be like a decrepit like corpse at this yeah. point. Oh, that's cool. Got your revenge, sister. Good shit. Yeah. All right. Okay, all that's right, all right. that's uh that is an unfortunate last shot, but yeah. it had to end somehow. Uh, Zemeckis showing some range with yeah. this one, man. Back with the uh, future fame, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So, wow. Um, I kind of want to go first on this one a little yeah, bit. Yeah, go ahead. So like, this By is you know like I said at the beginning, coming full circle for me because I remember this poster being really creepy at the movie theater when I was a little kid. And I wanted to see it, but I didn't, because obviously, you know, this is not I'm a kid's you movie. When you were little, I think I would have been okay with this okay. when I was little. I think this would not be as bad as what I was sneaking off to watch. I was watching true. slashers true, true, to sneak true. off to watch those. Yeah. So this actually, I probably would have been super bored by this as a kid. I wouldn't have had the appreciation for the cool shots, you know? Because I gotta say. My rating for this movie is going to be realistic, but as far as shots go mm -hmm. and uh, score composition, um, Silvestri did this as yeah. well, which, you know, he's fucking phenomenal. Um, he works with the Zemeckis a lot. So, uh, 10 out of 10 as far as shots and, and music and Foley and uh, yep. sound design. Sound design you know, is excellent. The, yeah. It was top tier. Pacing, great. That was a two-hour movie. Did not feel like a two-hour movie yep. at all. For... You know, I'm usually somebody who criticizes a lot of older movies, 50s, 60s movies for being slow and boring. You know, somebody drives a supermarket, they get out of the car, they walk into the supermarket, they don't talk to anybody, they walk back. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's what they do. It's like they show you like these whole scenes where nothing happens, you know, but that didn't happen in this movie. Every yeah. scene, no matter how long it dragged on for, had a purpose. And yeah. I really appreciate that. Um, as far as a movie goes... I have a hard time deciding between a six or a seven. And again, we say this all the time, six is good. A six is a movie that we recommend to people. As movie watchers, anything yeah. that is like, anything that's a five or above, I'm going to give it a shot. And even a four, I might just take a look at it for like a couple cool scenes, you know? But like, I, I feel like a seven is too strong because once we kind of saw where it was going, we kind of knew where we were going to end up in right. a way, you know? Yeah. Um, in a way. It, in yeah. a way. We didn't know exactly, but we kind of like saw where the movie was going, so it didn't necessarily throw us for the ride that I was hoping for. I could almost give it a seven, though, because like there is that, that um, 
idea of like, was it all in their heads? Right. right was right. this PTSD? Was this trauma on display? You know, like, because like, if her corpse came floating up there, it doesn't matter whether she was alive or not. That right. would freak anybody out, you know. Yeah. And it really still comes full circle. So, like, the storytelling was great. Um, I, I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, I, I okay. think I think I have to give it that extra one because it, it at least. Um, makes us question after the movie's over and any movie that makes me go was it in their head was it not in their head i'm actually going to look this up on reddit after this and see if there's a debate like was <laughs> yeah, this yeah, real yeah. or was it not um it's my favorite thing about one of my favorite movies of all time blade runner is he a replicant or is he not a replicant um he's not a replicant by the way he's human i'm not i'm not doing that just, I'm, I'm dying on that hill he's yeah. not a replicant he's a human. anyway um but yeah i don't know i i, I like movies that make me think when it's over and so uh okay i'll give it a seven i feel like a six might not be strong or or yeah six isn't strong enough so i like that because i was gonna give it a seven yeah solid seven mm -hmm. because just everything about it in terms of like anything that you mentioned right sound design is excellent the pacing was great Right, and one of the, the best shot movies that we've oh recently reviewed. yeah yeah that we yeah. Re that we've reviewed yeah. yeah like like obviously there's way better you know movies that we can name off the top yeah. of our heads that have been shot way better but for what this movie is and what we have reviewed on this channel I, I, it has to be one of the best shot movies it's gotta be yeah there was I mean like even back in its day like attempting some of those tricky like long takes with the interior exterior even with the little bit of cg with the car and the bridge very Even ambitious those are like yeah you know like you don't see that pretty often like the only decent one i can think of is like uh the sci-fi movie uh children of men oh yeah okay, it's that yeah. one like i kind of shot with the driving and stuff mm. like and that that was like fucking trickery right like that was you know insane amount of planning and things so i appreciate this movie for pulling off these like shots okay and not making it janky so that it takes away from the rest of the movie. So mm -hmm. that was dope. The sound design was dope. And then the tension building was excellent. Even after we've kind of figured out, okay, I, we kind of see where this is going. They still had good fucking tension. We were like, what the fuck is about to happen? There was multiple stages of payoff. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, another thing happening and another thing happening. We we're like, holy shit. Uh, so... I appreciate that about a movie like this. Right? Makes me want to look up more about like what has Michelle Pfeiffer done besides because I know her as like <laughs> like she's a fun actress, you know. Yeah. But like she killed it. She killed it. She, she did an I think, excellent job. I think job. she did better than Harrison Ford in this. hundred oh, percent. I, I think yeah. that she was the best actor in this movie by far. By far, because I think she carried it pretty well. That you know, like her possession scenes, possession scenes, just her progression throughout the movie, like how you know. How she was at the beginning, how she was at the end. She killed it. So, because of all of that, I'm giving it a 7. And also, it's like, yeah, was it actually in their heads? Was it not? I think that's, you know, left there on purpose. And I appreciate that about a movie for mm -hmm. us to, like, decide. Yeah. Right? Like, they, they don't, like, oh, at the end, they're like, oh. Like, a, if there was, like, a small scene, like, saying, like, oh, they were going through a psychotic break, mm -hmm. PTSD. I think that would have made it cheap. Absolutely. Yeah. They didn't Show, do don't that. tell, right? Exactly. Exactly. Don't tell us. Show yep. us. Let us decide. Yep. So, because of that, I think it's a seven. I would definitely recommend this to, you know, anyone really. Because it's not like crazy scary. It has its moments, but it's like a good, you know, thriller. Good yeah, good horror movie. I don't think know? it would traumatize anybody. No, I don't think Not that. like Terrifier. Right. Uh, yeah. Not like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think uh, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Big fan. Yeah. So thank you for recommending this Yes. One. Guys, we'll watch anything, man. Uh, this is one of those ones where I'm glad that I went to go take a look at the list today because I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember this poster. Like, I remember it. That's, that's how much of an impact it had on me as a kid. I looked at it. I was just kind of like, oh, what is that? And so it's fun when people recommend things that, like, you know, as guys like us that have seen countless trailers and posters and whatnot throughout our days on the internet and just in real life going to the movies, um, it's kind of fun to see things pop up every once in a while. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that yeah. a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. So any suggestions you guys have, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for being here. And please let us know, man. We are down to watch anything that you guys have for us. Yep. Yeah, man. That was fun. That was fun. Cool. Till next time, guys. Peace.